good day to you. The proposal entitled A Leading Structure That Integrates with the Visionary Township Development in Harmony with the Environment of Montinlupa City presents you Durungawan. Presented to you by Vince Cyrus E. Gallego, Trisha May C. Camino, and Kyle B. Magbitang. From the root word Dungaw, meaning to look through a narrow hole or crack, the structure focuses on looking through to being transparent in governance and management in regulating the city of Montendupa. City halls are functional buildings that serve a critical role in symbolically representing the visual legacy of the city and its ideals. It is designed to host municipal offices, departments, and services while also having facilities to host cultural and civic activities. Being the cultural icon of Montenlupa City, the present City Hall is inspired by the Philippines' Bahay Kubo, designed by architect Roderick Espina. It houses the, the head of the city, the executive, legislative, and administrative offices of the city. The new proposal for the relocation and redesign of the existing Montenlupa City Hall features notable additions, however, retaining some features for better transition of the occupants to the new facility. The proposed City Hall with Filipino modern vernacular architectural design entitled A Leading Structure That Integrates with a Visionary Township Development in Harmony with the Environment of Montenlupa City aims to serve the public and accommodate the staffs and employees. It also aims to give both inclusive facilities, security, and accessibility. The statement of the problem for the proposed City Hall. The Municipal Hall in Montilupa City is situated at the city proper, facing the Medical Center of Montilupa and the Manila South Road. The main entry of the building is used as parking spaces despite it facing a crowded and busy road and hospital, which frequently causes obstruction and excessive traffic. In order to resolve the issue, the statement of the problem focuses on how to design the municipal hall to be accessible and feasible for its users and employees. Next is how the new location gave aid in improving circulation, and lastly, how the private and public spaces were designed. Goals and objective for the proposed City Hall In order to formulate a design solution that is accessible and convenient, the objective first focuses on the allocation of spaces, how it can be organized to be functional and accessible, second is giving consideration to natural ventilation and lighting, third is it focuses on creating a proficient design and facilities that could give efficiency and convenience for the users both in and out of its service, Lastly, it focuses on meeting the requirements needed for planning a government structure. Design Considerations for the Proposed City Hall City halls are government structures that aim to serve and influence the people for the betterment, progression, and development of the city. In order to construct an efficient city hall, the design proposal focuses its design considerations on the space planning, which is the arrangement of public and private spaces. The materials and furnishings used for the city hall in order for the structure to last longer and to maintain it easily. And lastly, the site location which should be placed on the center of business activity for it to give most efficiency and convenience. Goals and objective for the proposed city hall in order to formulate a design solution that is accessible and convenient, the objective first focuses on the allocation of spaces, how it can be organized to be functional and accessible, second is giving consideration to natural ventilation and lighting, third is it focuses on creating a proficient design and facilities that could give efficiency and convenience for the users both in and out of its service. Lastly, it focuses on meeting the requirements needed for planning a government structure. Design Concept The current City Hall is a wonder when it comes to visual appeal and it is currently a magnificent structure that denotes power, beauty, 
and integrity of the city, its government, and its people. A modern interpretation of the native Filipino houses will be the focus of the structure to provide Montinlupa City a leading structure that not only anticipates the future development of the city, but also remembers the core values and principles of what a native Filipino is, characteristics which are already seen in the city and its people. The two most notable architectural houses of the Philippines are the Bahay Nabato and the Nipahat or most commonly known as the Bahay Kubo. These two houses are the two distinct architectural houses when it comes to Philippine architecture. Both features different architectural characteristics such as capis window for the Bahay Kubo and the adobe walls for the Bahay Nabato. Both examples can be seen in the design of the city hall. Other features that can also be seen in the design are the cor corniced edges and the gable roof to denote grandeur and maj majesty of the structure. As Norman Foster said, as an architect, you design for the present with an awareness of the past for a future which is essentially unknown. Muntinlupa City, as a premier city in the south of Metro Manila, has its focal point on Philinvest Corporate City inside Ayala, Alabang. It serves as the backbone of the economic progress of the city. This project aims to integrate this building's, this leading structure to the business center of the city to better regulate the internal mutual relationships between structures inside the visionary township. The proposal will embed Muntinlupa City into an enhanced circulation of management and service for the people. Form Concept As for the form of the structure, it is designed to have a symmetrical form both interior and exterior, having equal right and left wings, and a central facade for the main entry. The visual attributes of the structure also consists of linear shapes and forms to devise a facade that perceives power, familiarity, and security for the city and its sovereignty. Material concept The structure incorporates materials that are familiar to Filipino culture to emphasize the mo modern vernacular style of architecture that is used. The use of wood, bricks, and stones are one of the main accent materials that represents the vernacular side of architecture. On the other hand, glass and steel are also introduced to give the structure a modern feel with the international style of architecture. Planning concept. The plan of structure consider the adjacency of the space and flow of both public and private occupants. The plant features a main entrance of the general occupants to approach by a grand lounge and stairway that connects the central courtyard and various hallways in the structure. It also presents an open planning with high ceiling having a large window for natural lighting to come in. Social service offices can be found in the initial spaces on the city hall to better accommodate the public. Two private parking areas can be found in the side of the structure having entrances for the better flow of private occupants entering the structure. Lastly, a rear entrance is also present that leads to the city trial court and other semi-public spaces. Space requirements are the collection of spaces that is needed in the given project by the client which architects provided to create a plan and we as architect of this project we refer to the given spaces of Muntinlupa online website. The space requirements are separated by seven different areas, which is first institutional area that consists of 29 different offices that have correlation with institutions. Next is the economic area that consists of eight different offices. Third is the infrastructure area of a building where you can find architects and engineers offices. Also, infra infrastructure area consists of four different offices that supports related with the infrastructure management. The fourth one is the environmental area, which also composes of four different offices. Next is the social area of a building with 18 offices that is somewhat located in 
in a easily accessible location of infrastructure. Let's go with the area for the utilities, where you can find passive and active zone of a building. Utilities composed with 14 different rooms and areas that support the safety and needs of a building. The last part for the building is the additional public spaces that fulfill the daily needs and habit of the user. And this part of a building have 11 different offices, spaces, and areas.